Hello traders, uh, today we are going to review uh, one of the most basic strategies candlestick uh, patterns uh, that is uh, you most probably have already heard about or read, read about it's called um, doji however uh, this is uh, one too specific there are three versions of doji and today we're going to review two versions that uh, happen at the extreme sides of, of, of trading so uh, at the end of an uptrend and at the end of, an, of, a, of a downtrend uh, so to this this uh, candlestick two two candlestick patterns are actually called dragonfly and gravestone doji. So you must ask yourself, if, especially if you're new to to trading, uh, uh, and you are now very much confused with all these can different candlestick patterns. So I will briefly start by explaining uh, what is the difference between uh, certain uh, certain uh, certain candlestick pattern so uh, doji uh, as, a, as a candle you know it's a one candle and uh, it's very easy to identify because all, all dodges usually uh, usually show that there is indecision in in the market and market is unsure whether whether to go so if you can look at this chart so for example this particular candle here this is a long leg dodgy because it has uh, it has upper week, lower week, and uh, almost no body. This is this again the same thing. Uh, down week, up week, and then there is uh, more or less no 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 body. No body. Of course, it has if it has more body, then it's it's a, it's a spinning top. So uh, this is usually uh, uh, this is uh, like a neutral candlestick because you see that the price pushed higher. And then it pushed down, and then it closed somewhere where it actually opened in the first place. In the first place, so uh, this is a the the doji that has long wicks. It's called, as I said, long leg uh, long leg doji. Uh, the doji that has a very 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 small wicks, like for example this one here, uh, it it is uh, called simply a, a doji. That's like a basic doji versions. And the, today, what we're going to review is a gravestone doji and the dragonfly doji, and these two are the rarest versions. So you will find them very rarely in in, in charts. You ha really have to dig, uh, dig deep to in order to identify them. And if you wa really want to identify uh, one or another, uh, meaning if you really want to meet all conditions. Uh, so let's let's start by uh, since the first we had this this uh, this rectangle here. Let me review it here. So you can see that we, here we have an uptrend. Uh, I'm zooming in so you can see better. So we have an, we have a downtrend. I'm sorry, and then uh, we are looking then to form a bottom and to make a correction because as we know, nothing happens in a vertical manner. So here, what happened is we we push lower, 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 and then look at this candle here. This is a great example of a dragonfly dodgy. So you can see it has it has a huge huge lower week uh, that that goes uh, that goes um, th that goes uh, really really low in this particular case and the price pushes lower all the way all the way lower and then it closes more or less where it where it where it started so this is a dragonfly a dragonfly dodgy so it has it has a long lower tail or a week but uh, almost has no upper tail or in this case very 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 uh, short upper uh, upper tail uh, and it looks like a capital letter T uh, so uh, as I said it's very rare to find but it's extremely reliable once you see this especially with this long week you can be sure that the market is turning and the correction is coming as, as you can see here we push a bit higher we come create a higher low and then we go and create a, 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 a more more uh, we, we, we get more upside in the market so uh, this is more or less the product of this candle because what investors see here is they see that the push in this particular case let me zoom out you see that we pushed 60 pips lower but we closed at where we opened so the price could not close the, meaning there is a great buying interest here and this is why the, the price has, has been pushed higher 
uh, and then we go to the to the as I said we, we, we go higher and then you, you have the opposite situation here we have an uptrend and then the uptrend is finalized with the upside down capital letter T you can see it's a capital this candle here it's a capital letter T when you when you turn it around upside down and this is called uh, and this one is uh, as I said uh, called a gravestone doji and it's extremely bearish uh, reversal pattern again meaning that we pushed higher pushed higher look we pushed above these two highs but then we closed at the bottom and we have no body which means it's a doji since it has no body and it means that in this case uh, a lower week more or less does not does not uh, exist or it's very 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 short uh, perfectly it, it, it will have no lower week or in this case here with the uh, with the dragonfly doji it will have no upper week but these two are extremely rare to find and you can tolerate a very short uh week on 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 the different side and as i said it's short it's a it's a, a narrow it, it, it's a rare 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 one to find but once you find it you can be pretty much sure that you are going to you're going to uh, get a trend reversal so what is the difference between this uh, in this particular case gravestone doji and a shooting star they are very similar the only difference is that the shooting star has body so for example this here this is a shooting star long week we close at the bottom so the the week is longer than the body but it's it has a body it still has a body this here it's a it's a it's a doji since as i said it has no body Sa the same thing applies to the to the dragonfly dodgy what is the difference between dragonfly dragon dragonfly dodgy and the hammer the only difference is that the hammer has some body and if for example if this was to form a hammer then the price would have closed at that same at the very top of this uh, of the candle and then it will have uh, body and this will be uh, a hammer and not uh, uh, not a uh, dragonfly dodgy so here again dollar yen another example look uh, at, the, at this we have a we have a uh, something very close to dragonfly dragonfly dodge here it's something between hammer and dragonfly dodge since as i said you uh, ideally it will has it will have no upper week it will only be like capital letter t uh, and then here again we push higher we make correction again the down the this short downtrend actually finishes with a uh, dragonfly dodgy here a bigger down downtrend if you look at this downtrend it's a 300 pips move it it finishes with the dra uh, dragonfly dodgy we continue to push higher and uh we create we create uh, new highs and uh, you can see here again uh, this is a very also good example of gravestone dodgy but gravestone dodgy without a follow-up since obviously it happened in a in the in Asian trading when there is no not a lot of volume uh, present. So uh, I wanted to show you, as I said, I wanted to show you these two examples, uh, with where you can actually see that the Dravestone Dodgy and the uh, and the Dragonfly Dodgy are very reliable uh, and very much uh, you can be sure that the trend is 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 going to that reversal of the trend is going to happen. Uh, soon after, uh, bec because uh, the, the investors see that the, the in this case, since we are looking at this chart, dragonfly dodgy candles, the investors see that the bears have lost a short-term control here. Because if they still had control, then the, the close would be somewhere near the bottom in both cases. And then uh, there is a lot of short covering here, and uh, the price is pushed is pushed higher. It's also very good for trading. You can immediately enter the trade after the this this candle is formed. Uh, you enter the trade here. You put your stop loss be below the low, and then you can look and get the uh, first resistance to to take profits uh, off table.